Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. Today we are going to try and vapor smooth out one of our prints with acetone but a bit differently this time. Instead of just putting the PLA model inside a jar and waiting for it to smooth out, the PLA, which that experiment failed, this time we will spray a layer of primer on it first and then place it into the jar to vapor smooth it with acetone. So we already sprayed a layer of primer onto the print and now we just have to place it into the jar. Before we do that, let's take a look at the print. Here you can see even after a layer of the primer, there's still a lot of lines and you can still see all the separate layers in this print. Now we can start. We'll have to put a piece of paper towel in at the bottom so it'll soak up the acetone when I pour it in. Now we can place the print in and see how it goes. We'll leave it inside overnight and then let's see if it smooths out the primer or not. I left it overnight, so now let's take a look at it and see if there's any of the smoothing that I wanted. Let's take it out. Oops, it's actually the primer is a bit wet. Um, I'm pretty sure it was dry when I put it in. Interesting. It actually looks like it did smooth out the primer a bit. The layers are less apparent now and it looks smoother compared to before right here. And this side definitely looks smoother than before. The holes at the back look relatively smooth as well. Since it looks like it's working, I'm going to leave it in to vapor smooth a bit longer and see how it goes. And I'll let you know the results later. Well, there we have it. We tried to smooth out a PLA print with acetone vapor after spraying it with a layer of primer. And it actually looks like it's working. It does look smoother than before I did the experiment and I only left it over at night. So maybe if I did leave it in longer, it will give me better results. I'll let everyone know in the comment section or in our description on how it goes after two more weeks. Let's hope I get better results. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering U. It's a great platform for you to explore about 3D printing and it's also free with a lot of resources and challenges that you can use to jumpstart your makerspace or your classroom. So definitely take advantage of those and visit our website. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.